It's uh, probably inappropriate for a white lady to talk about Tai Chi on the internet, but I'm going to do it anyway. I am no kind of expert in Chinese philosophy, and I'm not representing any kind of official position. Or It's just that I, I took some classes, and I found some ideas that were really meaningful to me, and, and, and these are what those are. My name is Amelia Nagoski. I'm the co-author of the New York Times bestselling Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Cycle. And I am an American white lady, so white and so American that I can trace my lineage back to two Mayflower families. I am the last person who should be talking about Tai Chi or anything related to Chinese philosophy. <laughs> so insert all caveats and excuses and apologies here for anything approaching cultural appropriation. I'm not claiming that this is my culture that I own. I just, I learned this stuff and it, 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 started serving as the foundation of, of everything that I think about and on my best days it is the foundation of everything I think and say. So that's what I'm going to tell you about. Let's start with the yin yang. This is the yin yang. And this is a this is a bookmark I use in my planner uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. The yin yang represents two separate things. Uh, yin, which is dark and soft and uh, mysterious or yielding and the yang which is light and strong and proactive and you know forward moving um, uh, and of course they both have a little bit of the other in each um, because the yin yang is not about two separate things and one has each and the other the yin yang is a single thing that I have learned to call the Tai Chi, the single entity that is um, kind of coming from the Taoist tradition of the way, which is not a balance of light and dark, but a system of universal dynamics that is made of the interaction of things that are opposite to each other, or at least different relative to each other. So up and down, in and out, um, wide and narrow, strong and soft, air and rock, individual and communal, all the opposites. And the Tai Chi is the mutual interaction of opposites. This is a way of thinking about Tai Chi that I learned specifically from Roger Yanka, and I'll link to him in the description. And this is directly related to the book, because in Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Cycle, we say that wellness is not a state of mind. It's not a state of being. Wellness is a state of action. Wellness is the freedom to oscillate through all the cycles of being human. So from effort to rest, from isolation to community, from autonomy to dependence. We are not meant to stay in one state of anything all the time. We're meant to continually oscillate and flow through, like digestion, as my sister likes to say, and it always makes me uncomfortable, but I mean, it's just true. Like digestion is a system. It's a process of intake and output. And if any part of the process gets interrupted or stuck, bad things result. I keep this as the bookmark in my planner of this is today, because today is the point where the past intermingles with the future. And I have a very hard time with that. And I don't know if it's autism, but I do tend to get stuck in my thoughts. Um, so I tend to think a lot about the past or a lot about the future. And I have to make an effort to remember that now, now, this, this is where I exist. I exist in the intermingling of past and future, in the intermingling of inhalation and exhalation, of, of, of growth and shrinkage, of, of autonomy and dependence. I, I live in, in the, not a state of like stillness of balance, but of motion and flow as balance. So that's what Tai Chi means to me. Um, I've talked about it in passing a lot in the past, and I thought today is the day where I'm actually gonna talk about what it actually means to me. This is not an official explanation. There are lots and lots of resources to go find out officially in the Taoist philosophy. What is the yin yang? What, what is Tai Chi? Um, 
and, and Roger Yonka's uh, books have been of value to me. And he was the first teacher I found who would talk about Tai Chi without just stopping at, and here's the motion you do. You know, you move your hand like this, and you move your arms like that. Um, and he actually was willing to talk about what goes on behind the scenes and how, and how what I do with my body and in my mind is a minuscule representation of what goes on in the universe, of what goes on in society, sort of like the Greek philosophy of the music of the spheres, where, uh, you know, there's a harmony in all things, and it's, and it's a harmony that exists at all levels. Um, this, this feels like that to me. And that's why I keep it in my planner, and that's why I, Tai Chi means so much to me, and why I practice it. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.